the steps we will go through to process the trial is an example of how you can go about processing trials. Please customize this process to fit with your trials and data collection types. We are going to move through a standard set of processing, including reconstructing and labeling your trajectories, cropping the data to the area of interest, gap filling missing data points, filtering trajectories and device data, creating events, model output creation, exporting data to CSV files, and saving the process data. Now that you have captured your data, it is time to process the trials. Go to the Communications pane, Data Management tab, and navigate to the Session folder with the recently collected data. Once here, you'll see your trials listed. Next to each trial, you'll see different icons. These indicate the data collected for each trial. The yellow M indicates that reference video has been captured. Please note that if you captured reference data but you do not see the yellow M, you will need to go to the File Transfer section and transfer your videos. The pink A shows that analog and or digital devices were saved in the trial. The blue X shows that optical camera data has been collected. The green P, seen in our static trial, is the C3D file and indicates that the trial has at least been opened and saved. If you have not already calibrated your subject, please refer to the General Workflow Capture video or to the Nexus Tutorials video focusing on subject calibration. Please see the description for more information. Double click on the trial to open it. To get started, notice the trial name at the top of the 3D perspective view. You will see also that your markers are not visible in the trial. You will need to run the offline core processor to reconstruct and label your markers. The blue marker balls within the toolbar runs the core processing pipeline operation. This operation will reconstruct and label your markers at the default settings. If you need to customize the settings, please go to the pipeline operation and make changes to the properties. Once the trial has been reconstructed and labeled, go to the Communications pane and Quality tab. This area provides visual information on the quality of the trial. Each marker is represented by a circle. If the marker is missing or unlabeled within the trial, the circle will be a different color. Typically, green indicates a well-labeled marker, whereas yellow, orange, or red shows that a marker is unlabeled for parts of the trial or missing. Within some of the marker circles, you'll notice red dots. These dots indicate gaps within a marker trajectory. If the subject in the trial moves through the volume, such as this one, cropping out the areas where your subject is not in the space might be a suitable option. There are two ways to go about this. First is manually cropping by pulling on the blue triangles on the edge of the time bar. Note how the quality tab changes as the trial is cropped. Alternatively, you can go to the Tools pane, Pipeline button, expand the Events and Time Bar section, and add Auto Crop Trial to the pipeline. This operation will crop the trial based on the marker labels. As you noticed, as the trial was cropped, the quality section looks cleaner. Next, let us work on filling any remaining gaps within the trial. Similar to cropping the trial, there are two methods to go about gap filling. First, within the Tools pane, Label and Edit section, you can manually fill gaps. Otherwise, navigate to the Pipeline button and expand the Fill Gaps and Filter Data section. Nexus provides a variety of ways to help with gap filling. If you are utilizing the Plugin Gate Marker set, like we are here, you can look at running the Auto Gap Fill button within the time bar. This button runs the Auto Intelligent Gap Fill Pipeline. This is a great pipeline to use to help you get started with building your own gap filling pipeline. Now that all of our gaps are filled, 
let us move on into filtering our data. Nexus provides various filtering options for both trajectories as well as the devices. It is up to you to decide how you want to use them and how. Alternatively, you can create your own filters with the Vicon Offline SDK and integrate them with the Run MATLAB or Run Python pipeline operations. In this example, I will run the Filter Trajectories Woltering pipeline operation. Does your trial have points in it where you'd like to highlight a time or event? In this walking example, we are interested in noting the foot strikes and the foot offs. For non-gate movement, such as baseball, you might be interested in putting events in place for distinct aspects of the pitcher's throw. Nexus offers a couple ways to create events. The detect events from force plate pipeline operation will look at the labeled marker data and the force plate force vectors to place foot strikes and foot offs when an individual steps on and off of the force plate. If you are not doing a gate type movement or do not have access to force plates, you can manually create events by going into the event identification mode. If the events created either manually or by the pipeline operation represent a cyclic type movement, such as gate, running, or biking, you can then use autocorrelate events pipeline. By default, it is configured for events from leg motions, but you can customize the pipeline to look at different markers. This pipeline will create the event type seen within the time bar. In this example, we are looking at foot strikes and foot offs, one created from the force plate, one created manually. Autocorrelate events will populate the rest of the events appropriately for us throughout the trial. With events created, you might be interested in further processing to generate kinematics, kinetics, or other data. Some modeling strategies require the user to run through scripts or pipelines within the calibration trial. Please make sure this has been completed, if required, before proceeding in this video. Pipeline operations, such as process dynamic plugging gate, will generate a variety of kinematics and kinetics based on marker positions, subject measurements, and force plate data. MATLAB, Python, and Procalc are scripting options which open the doors to customizing calculations based on different data sets. In this example, I am using MATLAB to calculate a marker between my ACES points. To view your calculated model outputs, whether it's from plugging gate or elsewhere, Go to the Resources pane, Subjects tab, expand your subject, and expand model outputs. Once you are done processing your data, you might want to export it for additional processing elsewhere. The export options are found within the File Export section. In this video, we will be using Export ASCII to generate a CSV. Within the properties, I have selected to export devices, model outputs from plug and gate, and trajectories. Once the pipeline has been run, a blue C populates within the Communications pane, Data Management tab, by the trial name. We can double click on the C to open the created CSV. You could also open the CSV from the Session folder. The Session folder can be opened by selecting the blue hyperlink, which opens the Windows folder. You can then navigate to the appropriate file. Finally, make sure you have saved your trial. The Save Trial Pipeline operation will do just that. Alternatively, Select the Save icon on the top left of Nexus. Now you're ready to process the next trial. Thank you for watching this video. As always, if you have any questions about your hardware or software, please do not hesitate to contact us at support at